we have time for one more speaker if there's anybody in the bus speak in opposition to this request. There being none, I'm not close to the public participation portion of this request. The uh, discussion is now open amongst the commissioners. I have a question for staff. Uh, she's speaking of spot zoning with the, uh, what we're proposing here is not spot zoning because of the, the, the different requirements that are put on this to, to put a plan development in there, right? Um, yeah, I'm very familiar with the term spot zoning yeah. and all the connotations with that. Um, first of all, we've already acted on the rezoning request. Well, this is true, yes. Okay. Um, plan development, unlike it used to be in the past, is not a zoning change. There's no change to the zoning map. Okay. The R10 zoning stays. If, they, they have, if the plan development is approved with all of its conditions, the developer still has the ability to completely ignore the plan development approval and then develop the property according to R10, whatever R10 would allow. Just like today, it could be developed to whatever R15 would allow. Mm -hmm. But if they choose to follow the plan development approval, then they are locked into that master plan and any conditions that are attached to it. Um, now back to the spot zoning, which is more of a density question. Mm -hmm. And that's something I personally wrangled with for a long time. If you look at the map, you see R15 on the north side. Okay, now granted, we've made some comment that not all of those R15 lots are R15 standard, but at least close. On the south side, there is no R15. And directly across is PRD 10, which is the Bell Rise. This right there. This is R10, which is what the applicant is requesting. This is RP, which is Langdale Place. So the density is much higher here in terms of zoning than it is over here. Okay. Okay. This is somewhat isolated, it's directly across the street from Quail Rise. Um, in terms of lot width, which is another way to sort of measure the density of a development, um, they're proposing lots widths of approximately 50 feet. Okay, some are a little bit larger, but most of them are 50. And 50 is exactly what you have here. So in terms of lot width density, it matches what's across the street. And that, in my mind, helped you know, make the R10 a lot more palatable, um, even for plan development. Uh, without plan development, with R10, you get four lots, and that's precisely what you have right now. And with the plan development, when you ride by, you're only going to see one or two houses. Well, that was one of the considerations I had with the design, mm -hmm. is we do not need the density of the development apparent from either road, um, which is why I had wanted a little bit of a clustering effect. Um, and they'll notice the display boards, it really stands out rather than eight or nine homes lined up in a row. It's really three clusters, three, three, and two, and you don't see all of it at once, even when you're inside the development. To me, that adds creativity and some aesthetic quality to the layout. Any other discussion on this commissioner? I don't want to entertain a motion. From the commissioner. Mr. Chairman, I'll go ahead and do it. Um, I will say I agree with you, Matt, that uh, the first plan that was presented, I was not real excited about. It was a cookie cut approach, very similar to uh, uh, across the street on um, um, Bonewood Circle. Mm -hmm. But the, they give a lot of thought to this. I really like it. It's got a lot of uh, green space, a lot of character to it. So I, th I think it will be a positive impact uh, on the neighborhood. Um, and uh, based on the finding, this consistent with comprehensive plan. Uh, and I make a motion that we recommend approval with, and I'm not, if it's okay, Mr. Chairman, I'm going to just state the seven That's fine. Um, conditions that was listed by staff that was read earlier as conditions on this and recommend approval. Okay. We have a motion by Mr. Willis. No, second. 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 The motion. The only discussion I wanted to make was I just want everybody to know who came 
to speak against the motion, that I think you have some very valid points and concerns. And one thing that uh, I wanted to basically say that uh, when, when we come to the Painting Commission and we go through training and we become certified planners, one of the things that we're taught as planners is to try to capitalize where you can on the use of property. And plan development is, is one way that um, you can really do that. You're supposed to, in a true definition of a plan development, have higher density than normal, but you're supposed to also at the same time give amenities and, and quality uh, properties to the, the uh, property, such as this common area and uh, you know green space and things like that. So you have kind of a community uh, atmosphere. But um, this is one of the ways I think that you're going to see future development take place. Uh, I understand Mr. Rick's concern. I mean, certainly I agree. I know where you live exactly, and uh, it would be devastating to have somebody come in there and, and offer a plan development that would break up that very nice neighborhood. And fortunately, you're sequestered yourself back where you live. You're not on a major corridor like Eagle Road. And you know, we all know that as time goes by, these major corridors such as Eagle Road are gonna be targeted for more and more commercial style and heavy um, residential development. It's just gonna happen over, well, if you look at Bay Tree Road, I think is a perfect example. Bay Tree Road 25 years ago. Think about what was out there. And think about what's there today. And this is what's gonna happen along Eagle Road. And uh, so anyway, I just wanted to make those comments so that you know that we understand and we have heard you, but uh, you know, as planners, you know, we're trying to think ahead and look ahead and look at the comprehensive plan and, and uh, what the future will actually be. So that's all I want to say. Yes. Yeah. If, um, I'm not sure I feel this is up to Mr. Wills or whatever he wants to accept or not. All right, the motion stands as, as, as presented. Um, all in favor of the request? I got you. Got a motion and a second. We have a motion and a second. All in favor of the uh, motion, please indicate by raising your hand. The motion passes unanimously. Um,